In this video, we're going to show you how to generate a Schedule E. Let's say I'm the owner, Sarah, and I have these four properties. To generate the Schedule E, click on the Reports tab, scroll down to the Tax Reports section, and click on Tax Report and Schedule E. Select the year, then the owner from the dropdown, then click on Generate. We have a summary of all of the IRS categories with the totals. We have three properties listed. To see the last property, that fourth one, simply click on Next. You can click on the amounts to see how the total was calculated. For example, under 123 Main Street, we have $124 for repairs. If I click on that amount, we get a pop-up that shows the breakdown and we can see each expense. year-end adjustments for each property. The recorded amount comes from the property worksheet and we see the totals here. These numbers might not be accurate, so it's best to get these amounts from specific forms and to put the actual or adjusted amount in the column. Each category tells you which form you need to get the actual amount. For example, for insurance, you need to get the actual insurance bill for the mortgage interest, you need to get the actual amount from the 1098 form. If you need help locating the specific amounts, you can click on any of these blue links and you'll get a pop-up to show you an example just like this. I'll just put in some random numbers here for the video, but again, you want to look at the specific form for each category and then put the amount in here. When you're finished, click on Save Changes. And the information here has been saved and now you can print the Schedule E. So let's go back to the Reports page and now click on Schedule E. And the system will generate a PDF. At the top left corner, we have the properties listed. And then in these columns, we see the total income and expenses. We made adjustments for the 777 second property, so column A, and we can see the insurance, mortgage interest, other interest, and taxes have been added. If I scroll down to page three, we can see the fourth property here.